if a nation dreams big, and sp there's no bigger dream you can have than space, you dream big, you change the culture. Either we are the only life in the universe, or the universe could be teeming with other life. And either possibility is so amazing that lots of people want to find out the answers. The way that we will do exploration in the future is going to be a coupling between humans and robots. I take a look at Mars. It has evidence of liquid water having run rampant all over its surface, all bone dry today. Something bad happened on Mars. I want to know what that bad thing was. The reason I want to be an astronaut is because I want to discover space. I want to know what it's like. How did the universe's structure come into being? Where did we come from? How did we get here? So it's not just me who thinks. I I'm not the only one out there thinking that the universe is a really cool place. I want to explore other planets because, in part, it could help us understand Earth. But the greatest reason and the greatest driver is that it'll transform how we value what we do as a nation and as a culture. Great nations do great things. And that's been a hallmark of our nation since the beginning. We've done great things. We've done great exploration. We've done great science. And we don't want to back away from that. We designed Orion to be the first deep space exploration vehicle since the Apollo era. It's designed to go to the moon, but it's also designed to go beyond that, as far as asteroids and someday even Mars. Orion is America's new spaceship. The spaceship that's gonna take the next generation of explorers out into deep space. So, so Mars is far, far away, right? It requires other elements to land. So in the near term for sustainability of the exploration program, we should focus on things that we can afford, like going to the moon or going to near-Earth objects, which we've analyzed very, very well for Orion, and Orion's suitable for that. So Mars has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. They're both very small. If you could land on either one of those, you could control rovers on the, on the Martian surface. To allow us to find samples, interesting places for humans to explore, and we can do that without initially having to land on the surface. And any frontier of NASA going forward, especially if it involves Mars, we need the best biologists and chemists and, and geologists and aerospace engineers, mechanical engineers, because we're going to be building stuff electrical engineers, astrophysicists, all the frontier sciences, mathematicians, of course. That having an active space program that is doing new things, that is exploring new parts of the solar system, like the far side of the moon, eventually asteroids, eventually going to Mars, is an inspiration that will cut across all of the sciences. It's a gateway for students to study science. Orion is a, is a spacecraft that will be operational in a few years, and a lot of the astronauts who are in the astronaut corps today should get a chance to fly on Orion. But really, it's going to be the spacecraft of the next generation. I've always dreamed of being an astronaut because I love finding new things and seeing things no one else has seen before. I would love to be the first man to step on an asteroid. Yes, I would love to be an astronaut. They want to be astronauts. They want to discover something new on a, on a frontier. So a healthy NASA means you have had access to the ambitions of those in your educational pipeline, because they're the ones who are going to invent tomorrow. So sometimes people ask, why are we spending all this money in space exploration? You can't spend money in space. First of all, all of that money is spent on Earth. The fact that people think NASA gets more money than it does means NASA must be doing something right. The Hubble telescope, the rovers, the space station, the, and in its day, the shuttle, and all the astronauts, all the science you've ever read about. That's one half of one penny on your tax dollar. When you add all this up, I can ask the simple question, what's the universe worth to you?